Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is the Blockchain Backer, bringing you the latest cryptocurrency news and analysis. I hope that you guys are having a great day. We've got some uh, interesting price action going on over here with Bitcoin. So we'll take a look around the cryptocurrency market. We're going to start right here with the Bitcoin price chart. You can see that Bitcoin has now retraced of this entire consolidation move back to the 702 level once again. So here we are. We hit it just a few days ago back there on January 29th. Now here we are again on February 4th, just kind of butting up against it, seeing whether or not we're going to be moving up or if we're going to be consolidating for a longer time period. I don't have that answer for you on which one it's going to do. So it's going to be a patient wait and see thing uh, for me. I been very transparent on what my my intentions are here i do hold my bitcoin still i have not let go of any of it if we do break up higher and start getting up into these price ranges i will start letting go of my bitcoins and rolling them over into the altcoins it's a strategy i've had for the longest time as these prices rise people tend to uh, it's real funny because when i was doing all the accumulating people were telling me i was a dummy and then now as i'm talking about well the percentages aren't really there anymore they say hey you're a dummy of course the percentages are there so you can see the sentiment shift um, and one of those things in particular was yesterday when I was talking about Ethereum I had mentioned that the potential for Ethereum is not very significant and there's not much potential remaining on my Twitter page on my comments on my video I got absolutely called out for that statement saying that I don't know what I'm talking about that Ethereum is going to go to three thousand dollars Ethereum is going to go to five thousand dollars Ethereum is going to go to ten thousand dollars and that oh my gosh I have no idea what I'm talking about because it's definitely going to those prices but I talk specifically about this phenomena over here on my course on bcbacker.com that percentages mean everything and price does not. Because even if Ethereum does rise to these prices that people are calling for, let's say it goes to $3,000, well, you get 91%. Let's say it goes to $5,000, you get 200%. If it goes to $10,000, you get 500%. But my argument is that the potential is isn't that great when we look at other things that just for them to get back to their all-time high you're looking at 700 percent or if they even did those same extensions you're talking about we're talking 2500 percent on things like xrp or with zcash to get back to its all-time high you're looking at 760 percent even ethereum classic has 500 percent just to the all-time high EOS just to the all-time high is 642. Same type of price levels that you're talking about for Ethereum to bust out to, we're looking at thousands of percentage points up in here. So for someone to say, you don't know what you're talking about, Ethereum's going to $5,000, I don't think they've run any type of mathematical equations on what that really means from a percentage standpoint. Because in the end, percentages mean everything everything and the price does not and i think people are very attached to what the number says that four digit number rather than caring about what the percentage is so i preface that of what i'm saying here about bitcoin and that i'm intending to get out up in here because really my my thought process is that bitcoin's going to somewhere around 70 to eighty thousand dollars I'm going to get out of it a little bit early, get out of it somewhere between 45 and 58,000 is where a lot of my sell orders are being placed at and roll that into the altcoins to go after those higher percentages. And, and for me, I don't care. Somebody can come back with the argument and say that Bitcoin's going to $300,000. I still stick to the mathematics of it all. And I say, you know what? That percentage isn't good enough for me. <laughs> I'm going somewhere else. So I still hold my Bitcoin. I'm hoping to see Bitcoin get up in here and I'm hoping to roll my Bitcoin on over to the altcoins. But today's been kind of a fun day for the people over in Doge because, well, Elon Musk is back. Two days ago, he said that he would be off Twitter for a while. And well, welcome back. <laughs> and he made his appearance back with a grand entry. <laughs> and sure enough, Doge responded. Up 42% right now. Looking around at the rest of the market, well, XRP is still sitting flat right in here. Just kind of a crash after that whole Telegram thing. And then, well, sideways. Pretty interesting to see how it just kind of came straight down with no real bounces out of there or a continuation. Just a complete stop there for several days at this point. So still, just a wait and see on XRP to see what's going to happen here. One could argue this is just a trend line back test of the breakout. So, I mean, I guess so. But you know me, I love fibs way more than anything else. And do I see any type of fib level? Levels that are significant here at this point not in particular I mean it comes back down to the 236 or if the opposite side is 786 retrace but if we do take everything off the screen and we go out from the opposite approach and use the entire move starting way down here at the bottom well where does it come back to a perfect 702 retrace of the entire move so is that what's going on here hey 
I'll take it if it is. Add in your trend line at the same time. And well, you kind of have two things going on there, don't you? I think a really positive thing that happened yesterday is looking at the total altcoin market cap. We got a second close there above the 0.786. So it wasn't just a one day fake out. We got a continuation above the 786, creeping back up further towards that all time high set back in the 2017 bull run. So getting closer and closer. We now have two candle closes above the FIB level. That's a confirmation enough for me. Now we're all just kind of waiting to start seeing these things really start popping off and going nuts. Because like I mentioned in yesterday's video, in the previous alt seasons, we saw that Ethereum was able to get above its all-time high earlier than the other major caps that happened to XRP and Litecoin in this last bull run that took place in March of 2017 for the altcoins. That also happened at the end of year bull run as well. Right in here, we could see that Ethereum was the first one to break out into the all-time highs before XRP and before Litecoin. And here's a fun little exercise I like to do as well. So I can kind of show you my mindset when I say that Ethereum's percentage opportunity is dismal compared to what's going on in the rest of the market. So like if we take this bull run right here, right? And I'm going to grab this moment in time, right? So we can see exactly when Ethereum broke above this all-time high was right here. I'm going to swap us over to percentage, right? And then I'm going to zoom in on us on percentage and we can see how Ethereum was doing right here in relation to the rest of the market. And we'll put us over to exactly at that moment in time. And you can see that Ethereum was a non-existent. It was the worst performer down in here. And you can see that everything else outperformed Ethereum, especially this one right here. This is XRP, I believe, right there, right? Ethereum XRP going up 6,800% while in that time, since Ethereum broke out of its all-time high back in here, Ethereum was only up hundreds of percentage points. You could see that the opportunity was elsewhere and that Ethereum did not outperform the rest of the market from then on out. Even through the second alt season, Ethereum's percentages were smaller than that of XRP and of Litecoin once Ethereum had already broken out into its all-time high at this exact moment. It was the worst performer after that point because the percentages were already gone. And so with the second daily candle close above the last Fibonacci retracement over here on the total altcoin market cap and Ethereum closing even higher yesterday above its all-time high, it's providing optimism that that alt season is happening very, very soon and that we're argu arguably already in it. Because while this is all good fun seeing Elon Musk post about Doge and seeing Doge have these huge price swings, Elon posted about Doge throughout the whole bear market. This is nothing new. It's always been his meme coin that he's had fun with, but this time it's pumping. And that's because there's something different going on in the market right now. So I'll be keeping an eye over here on Bitcoin. Even if it does a straight line Lambo candle up into here, that's going to be my signal for me to start doing some rotation. We'll see if we actually have something going on over here on the XRP price chart with it holding the 702 retracement level and this trend line at the same time and see if we can get that infamous breakout of the all-time high for the total altcoin market cap. Otherwise, it's just a pretty tame day over here in crypto so far this morning and really over the last 12 hours. So hopefully we see some action soon. Hopefully that action is up. <laughs> But all right, I'll start wrapping this thing up. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like, you could check out my website over here. This is bcbacker.com. It's where I have a bunch of videos on here, educational content where I'm deep diving into the previous Bitcoin bull runs, the different altcoin market cycles and alt seasons, tying all that, all that together on how they've worked previously. I give you guys what my exit plans look like and talk about the mathematics, the percentages meaning everything, and a lot of the lessons that I've learned in this cryptocurrency market by being in here since uh, earlier 2017 but you can check this out over here on bcbacker.com follow me over here on twitter at bcbacker and i want to thank you guys so much for watching i've been going through the comments still doing the manual clicking i'm reading every single one of them that you guys are posting thank you so much you guys have so many nice things to say if you wrote something and you don't see a heart on it just know that i read it i did approve it i really appreciated it it's just in order to hit a hit a heart i have to go back to the thing and go through all of it all over again and it, and it is taking a lot of my time uh, throughout the day to go through all these comments. And you guys are giving a lot of suggestions out there on how to handle this. I probably will have to find a solution. Uh, maybe I'll have my wife become part of the team uh, if I can convince her to do it. 
But thank you guys for the nice comments. Once again, I am approving all comments. If you don't see your comment show up immediately, just know I'm doing manual approvals in order to stop the impersonators from commenting. Like I mentioned yesterday, these guys, they just come in with their bots and they just start posting like crazy. It's the only way I can stop it. If I showed you what it looked like on the comment section, the reason I can't, I don't want to show it to you is because it's going to show all these phone numbers. I don't want those phone numbers coming up on my channel. But if I showed you what it looked like right now, there's like 10 of these on every single person. And one of one of these things, and you know the argument is, well, just have a bunch. Of, you know, I, I've read a lot of people say, hey, just have mods help you do it. Um, it doesn't matter because if the mods delete it, uh, these guys will come back and they'll change the wording of all these things. They'll change these blocking the words doesn't help with it. Deleting it, blocking them, banning them doesn't do doesn't do anything. They just create new accounts. They change the wordings. They add apostrophes. They add colons, commas, semicolons, everything to get things go through so that words don't get blocked. Um, and then they just keep going and going and going. So it's the only way I can stop them at this point. I'm just going to need to find a solution to, <laughs> to help me with all these comments because you guys are amazing with how many comments you're posting. And uh, I guess that's kind of what happens when things get like this. You better believe I'm keeping an eye on that. I can't believe how close that is. That's unbelievable. I remember when I started this channel a long time ago. Um, and I started in 2019. I remember somebody saying by March of 2020, you're going to have 10,000 subscribers, no doubt. And I remember thinking to myself, that's crazy. There's no way we'll get to 10,000 that quickly by March of 2020. Um, and yet here we are in February of 2021. Uh, about to hit that 100k it's just incredible so i'm appreciative of this channel it's been an amazing journey for me it's been an amazing journey for all of us and we still have a long ways to go in this journey right the the, the job is not done we have to get to where we are destined to go um, and when that moment comes then we'll, we'll see what happens to the blockchain backer i don't know but I want to thank you guys so much for watching my channel. If you could, please like this video and give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you could be notified of when I create new content and when I go live. As always, this is not investment advice and I am not a financial advisor. But if you ever need to pick me up or a little bit of reassurance, just remember that the blockchain backers got your back. Have a good one.